So, there is actually a bit of a difference between the two, which can be summed up briefly as, in the US, liberals are people who are politically left of centre and who typically vote for the Democrats. In Australia, liberals are a right-wing political party who are right of centre and who can be progressive on some issues. Now, it is way more complicated than that, so I will explain each one in detail, but suffice to say, this is way more confusing for Aussies and the rest of the world because we have to listen to our own politics and then change our perceptions when we inevitably get fed American politics in the news. You Americans don't have that problem because you don't actually know the rest of the world has their own political systems. Oh, snap. <laughs> joking, joking. Let's <laughs> oh, go. So you've probably heard the term liberals being thrown around in American political discourse and wondered where this term comes from in the first place. The word liberal literally is derived from the truest sense of the word, being related to the idea of freedom. The idea of someone being a liberal person means they are all about allowing each member of society a good degree of freedom over their own lives, i.e. the right to choose their own destiny. But in the American sense, this is more meaning someone who is progressive as opposed to conservative. You may have heard reference to the liberal media mm? and liberal academics, mm. even a liberal class. This is because a large number of intellectuals and professional people in the US who take up higher ranking positions in companies and in institutions because they have a university education developed their generally more progressive perspectives on life through exposure to the higher education system. So you've probably heard then right-wing and conservative commentators in almost conspiracy theory fashion diss the liberal establishment like it was an actual thing. But I just want to make it abundantly clear. A liberal in the US is by no means a radical leftist. They are not revolutionary, socialist or communist. Liberals are all for the existing forms of political structure and economics, i.e. capitalism, staying where it is. They just think it could be improved, here and there. This is why liberals are Democrat voters. They don't think there is a problem with the system fundamentally. They don't want to burn it all down. They want to make it better, which just means do whatever the opposite of the Republicans is. American liberals are therefore more than happy to have government policies focus on things like welfare programs, social security, healthcare, environmental laws, financial regulation, public education, taxation of the rich, etc, etc, i.e. they are happy for government interference in the economy and in daily life from a utilitarian perspective, i.e. for the greater good. It's for the greater good. Well, that's just stupid. What? No, it's not. They are also tolerant when it comes to civil rights, like birth control, gay marriage, segregation, immigration, labour law etc. And inversely, then have a more restrained approach on matters of violence, like war and police powers. This is why you hear conservatives calling them libtards, snowflakes, SJWs, cucks, etc. It's because they see them as soft on important issues that real Americans would take a hard stance on. Now this is very different to an Australian liberal. <gasps> liberal with a big L if you've ever heard of that reference. That means a Liberal Party person because it's the name of an official political party, not just some broad ideology. So, they are the traditional Australian Conservative Party and came from a coalition of fiscally conservative members of the Labour movement and nationalist party members around the end of World War II. Now, this is confusing if you think of it. The word liberal denotes freedom and tolerance, and being conservative is kind of the antithesis of that. But the Liberal Party captures the idea of liberalism, and this is where I think the Australian use of the word liberal is way more consistent with its origin. Liberalism is the ideology behind a market society. In the original sense, think Adam Smith, he was a liberal. Liberalism basically promotes whatever social, political and economic relations 
optimize the nation's market economy. Therefore, liberalism ensures individuals are as free as possible so they can engage in the market to sell goods, services and their labor to the best of their ability. This liberality extends socially to mean there should be high tolerance of individual preferences like religious choice, sexuality and people's right to associate with whomever they please. Basically, allowing people the freedom to do what they like will produce the best market conditions. Now, liberalism does expect governments to be there to support the market. They are not libertarians. They want government to provide critical services and infrastructure to support the market and protect individuals and their property. Like keeping a military force to deter foreign threats. And that is pretty much the Liberal Party in Australia. They are economically conservative, i.e. they want all decisions to suit the interests of business and finance and want as little government intervention in the market as possible. They will happily erode government services that compete with the market, but expect the government to fill the gaps in the economy that aren't profitable for business. Australian liberals are generally tolerant of individual liberties like religious freedoms and sexuality to a certain degree. Because in order to appeal to a wider supporter base, they do play socially conservative games to pull in the religious vote and more hard right constituents. And because of their pro-market, anti-government intervention stance, they have this mythologized reputation among Australian voters that they run the economy best because, you know, they understand how to run a business. But this is very questionable and based on nothing. And I base that on absolutely nothing. And so there you have it. An American liberal is a progressive left-wing voter who disses the Republicans but has no radical leftist bone in their body. An Australian liberal is a right-wing, economically conservative, socially progressive voter slash party member who awkwardly marries themselves to ultra-conservative and hard-right agendas to battle the left. Both types of liberals are shameful, in my opinion, but the American liberals, under the right circumstances, can be radicalized and turned into revolutionaries. It is a much bigger stretch to expect that with Australian liberals, unfortunately. To borrow some Australian vernacular, most of those cunts are hopeless. Now, if you like this video, subscribe for more and share this video with people you think need to hear it and hit that like button. Remember, I am, you are, we are a mystery.